he's lost his lumbar curve here. So you're flattening right out here and moving away from that left joint. So you're not walk, walking too bad, but mm -hmm. it's just a leg. Mm -hmm. Crossing the knee, it's mm -hmm. likely the disc is involved. Yeah. Yeah. And there'll be some inflammation on the disc at least. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so um, it is stating here you've got a disc protrusion. Yeah, yeah so that's working. All right, okay. Information about heat on the side of the spine. Yeah. And whether any nerves are affected. Mm -hmm. Spongy through here. That's going to be tender for you right there. You feel that? Oh, you can feel. So I can just put on the basis of the spine over that S1. Ah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's where your problem is. When it comes in the left pelvic joint. And see, all of his lumbar is affected. That's all rigid there. Yeah. I can feel yeah. till here, yeah. Right down there. So yeah. when I touch here, you can it, feel it. Yeah, till yeah. here. Yeah. We need to get this pelvis clear. You don't like that at all. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then so it's fixation. Like, uh, it's like a knife going right <laughs> through, yeah. So it's very jammed up here, it's locked. Yeah. So you've done something to compromise this. Uh -huh. And you may have carried this for a long period of time and be totally unaware mm -hmm. that you've had this problem. Everything is pointing to a particular misalignment of this left pelvic joint, okay, yeah. that, that produces a secondary effect on the lumbar spine, and that's one of reducing the curve. And I think that's why a lot of these lumbar bones are very inflamed at the moment, very hard for me to palpate and move these into extension. Yeah. This disc I can see is most likely swollen too. It's quite fat here. All right, your sacrum looks like it's standing up like this. That's just the way that the whole sacrum and lumbar spine sort of goes into this flexion, mm -hmm. which is reactive to the change in this pelvis. Very controlled, very specific, mm -hmm. targeting the problem. Mm -hmm. And I want to reduce that. I want to guide that bone back through the joint. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to roll you towards me. Oh. Just come with me, come with me. A little bit more, a little bit more, good. Now I can set that straight through there, okay? Oh. Good. Oh. Nice one. That was perfect. A bit of a shock sometimes. Isn't yeah. It? You notice it didn't hurt, did it? It didn't hurt. Just a, just a shock. Just, yeah. Yeah. All right. In fact, some people say it feels really good. Yeah. It, the, the it really good. Moves, yeah. yeah. It's really good. There's no pain here. Yeah. I can feel a little bit pain here. It's certainly moving quite well now. It just needs a bit of time to heal, okay? Not as tender when I touch it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can feel pain. Just uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. But not like I was before. Uh -huh. You were really jumping out of the chair. You with these lumbars and with that ASIN, the way that your pelvis is rotated, mm -hmm. it's putting a lot of stress on your lumbar spine. Yeah. So a lot of this irritation here is secondary, right? Mm -hmm. see, you can see how we can move him in a lot better now. Right, see, see how I can actually take him into extension yep. right through these lumbar spines. So that's actually yeah, much better. So that's already taking pressure and stress off the lumbar spine. He's not flinching like he was. No. So we'll get it right. It won't take a great deal. Mm -hmm. A few adjustments and we'll, we'll get right on top. And I'll, of it. I'll okay. Yeah, and then all set. Yeah, and